Hi everybody, it's uh, day two, July 2nd, and uh, I had a sleepless night because uh, I was a little disappointed they didn't catch any fish yesterday. I wanted to show you, but anyways, we had a lot of rain this morning, and uh, now it's about 6.30 in the evening, and it stopped, and the lake is, uh, which I'll show you in a minute, is um, calm as can be, and you can see a lot of rings where fish come on, coming up and stuff. But I want to show you a few things I left out yesterday in my kit here. First of all, um, this is my little bait carrier, uh, 550, a little grommet, a little ziplock, and then I reinforce it with some um, duct tape. And this idea came from a guy named uh, on the YouTube. I'm going to give him the credit because it, to me it's a very excellent idea. I use it all the time. I can't remember his name. Is, but it begins with a, it's E, B, Z, I just can't think of it at the moment, my mind is going. Go to my channel, you'll find it. Uh, he's in California and he's got a lot of great fishing stuff, a lot of just hunting, just general. He's got a lot of good ideas. And this is just a little ziplock. You can carry it on your neck and you, um, of course, when you have bait and then you can just, uh, you know, just you don't have to close it completely, there's enough air to get in there. And again, if you put some moss or leaves or whatever, it keeps them fresh. The other thing I have is this, and this is just, this is good all around for any kind of travel in the woods. Um, I use it for, and I keep it in my uh, backpack at all times because I use it mostly for digging for worms and whatnot. This is a standard metal sh uh, trowel, and I flattened it out a little bit, and I uh, ground the edge here a little bit, somewhat sharp. It needs to be, it can be made a lot sharper, and uh, if you're digging. Uh, on your campsite, you can cut roots with it, which is good. And on the end here, this, these were these little flanges here were bent in and made it like a round. But I bent them out. And what you do is you take um, a long stick. It can be anywhere from this long to uh, four or five feet long, and you can use double it as a walking stick. And then you put it in. You put a screw in here or a wooden peg, and you got. Uh, you can use it for digging roots, and you can dig it. You can uh, poke around, and uh, it'll be a weapon if you need it. Um, you can do a lot with it, and then you can just throw the stick away. And it's very handy, and it's very important when you're digging around in the leaves, don't just go with your hands because there's centipedes and whatnot that you can uh, get a nasty bite. It's always good to poke around, something like that. Always have a little uh, needle nose pliers. I got the smallest available. This actually has a, um, I like, it's got a little light on the end here. Wouldn't you know it's dead. But anyways, it was working. But it's just it's good if you're fishing in the evening and you want to tie out a hook. But I got it mostly for the needle nose because uh, when you're going inside of a fish's mouth, you want to take a hook out, but uh, it's a lot easier. Indispensable. Here's another um, hand line I made. This was out of an old um, McDonald's uh, Happy Meal toy. And uh, you can see the little teeth on the inside here. And the reason I didn't put a cross piece is when I go to cast, I just flex my fingers like that, and I hold it in. And then I can throw it, and it goes uh, very, very nice. Here's a little uh, buck, uh, bucktail jig I made with some, uh, I guess it's deer, deer tail. Very effective. Just something to any any kind of a spool like this can be modified to, to, for this technique. And again, you get um, absolute zero uh, line and twist or any kind of problem with that. So that's good. The other thing that I do a lot of is um, this little rascal here. This is my little, I call this my little Zeb Zebco egg. And this just is a regular, open, you know, closed face reel. And you just, uh, it's very handy when you're, uh, if you want to fish with a hand line technique and you don't want to carry a big rod or let's say your rod breaks, you just click the little opening there and you hold it just like this and you can do the same thing so you just throw it out and then as it goes out and then you just start what I do is I just keep my two fingers just pinch it slightly just to to get that little you need a little bit of a resistance when you first start to reel in and then you away you go and you can just uh, loosen up well, you can loosen up your fingers once you start to once it starts to get the Thing. And this is a very effective. What's good about these is you have a built-in drag here, which you should always have slet, uh, set to the, to the least amount. You know, it's light, so if you do catch a larger fish, and, and sometimes they grab it and they pull it in a way, and you won't lose it. Um, the other thing about these is 
you can uh, some of these have a very high um, ratio of retrieve to how much it comes in so you can actually get a good re if you can get one with a good retrieve retrieval rate you can reel in it faster and it's, it's better if you're using if you're going to use spinners and whatnot you want a little bit faster more control but this is another very effective way to keep your line neat and orderly and you can do a lot with these and these are good for if you're walking along a dock and you want to uh, I have uh, several of these and I have some heavier line on it for uh, on a fish in the ocean there and you just walk along and you see a spot you just click it down it goes and, and it's also good if you're going to go to any kind of depth if you're going to go to 30, 40, 50 foot you can go down to, down to the bottom and click and you just start reeling it up a very effective little tool here and today this is another thing I have here this is pretty unique I've never seen this in the States before and again I'm here in Norway in case you didn't know um, and uh, what it is okay you put your worm on the hook right here okay then this little um, sinker is loose and then it goes up in here and it comes out the top here so your line is loose the whole time okay you put your worm and this particular model is has a kind of a small hole here but the they have them bigger with a much bigger, maybe up to almost an inch across. You can, and actually, in theory, your whole bait gets pulled up in here. And if it's a worm, it's no problem. It goes right up. And then you just have this little thing to worry about when you have to cast it. Out it goes. Hits the water. And this thing floats. And it has some uh, little ball bearing for weights on the bottom here. And as soon as it hits the water, you let you get the line loose. And the sinker goes down, 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 down to the bottom. And uh, it's very effective. It's, it's the most effective way to catch trout in a lake. Um, it won't work in a river because this will be called to swept downstream, and this will end up catching on the ground. But this is good because it's vertical. If you have a lot of weeds on the bottom of a lake, and you cast out and you start reeling in, the line's coming in at an angle, and it's kind of going across the bottom, and you're going to hook every weed. This way, you can effectively go down into a patch of weeds. And then come up, and as you pull, as you start to retrieve, what happens is the bobber stays right at the surface, right above vertically, and you pull, 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 and this line comes up. And usually you only need to pull it up a meter or two meters, and then you can pull the whole thing and then drop it down to the next spot, and you can fish a whole section that way. And what happens is, um, as soon as a fish grabs this and starts to pull it, you, you can see this thing move. It doesn't it doesn't go under, but it starts to move you know you have a fish underneath you here. And again, this, this is uh, very effective for any kind of weedy areas. You can go, you can drop it over right in between the uh, two logs, and this thing just goes down, 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 and you pull it up, and this bobber will not go in any direction until, almost until this is near the surface, and then it'll start to move. So this is what we're gonna try right now here. And again, I have it on this rig here, which is, um, very good, and I do have some worms today, so maybe we'll catch them. Yeah. Okay. Alright. One other thing I want to say is, um, you can actually make this kind of a thing with a regular, these are very common, these white and red bobbers here. And these, this particular one is an, uh, a cheap brand, but the, for the most part, they have them where this little wire, this little wire hook that comes up, and and the good kind is two holes. It comes up and it goes and it hooks into the other hole. So what you do is you just bring it up and you turn it so that it goes opposite, and then as it goes down, there's no hole, so it stays up like that, like a little loop. And I can do it with this one, but not as not as big a hole. So you have your loop up, and then you can run your line through, and you have you can do the exact same thing with this bobber. Cast it out. This will go up. This will stay near your your weight. And you cast it out, land in the water, and then you just let your line out until you until it stops running, and the weight will go to the bottom. And these can be used if you just get the right kind. This is just an El Cheapo here. Okay. So let's go down and uh, take a cast here. Let's see what we got here.
And yes, I have Ben with me today. There you go, Ben. I'm gonna go down to the river, uh, to the lake here a little bit. This little uh, place I mentioned as being one of my favorite places. I, this is one of my favorite little trees. I call it my little bonsai tree here. It's. Uh, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna actually bring some fertilizer and try to keep it keep it live here. Pretty, pretty interesting. All right. Let's see here. Um, I'm going to set this here. Instead of making a whole series of move, uh, um, a whole series of parts, I'm going to try to just keep the camera running here. So you have to excuse me a little bit here. Yeah. All right. I'm going to set it over here and zoom in a little bit. Cool. All right. Let's see what we can come up with. In the way of some fish here. And one other thing I forgot to mention on that, um, that little metal trowel uh, versus a plastic trowel which is very effective if you're looking for worms and you can actually go in your backyard stick the trowel in the ground a little bit and if it works better if you have a little, another little piece of metal and you tap it and the vibrations will bring the worms to the surface and you can get a lot of worms just coming up and you just pluck them up uh, you can also do it with a wooden stake and then tap it but uh, the metal seems to be more effective so that's another way of collecting worms All right. Um, when I'm fishing for um, using worms, I always uh, bend down the 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 the, the, uh, the bar because um, these they tend to swallow them rather deep. And I, if I'm going to release them, or even if you're not going to release them, it's just easier to get the hook out, and then you don't have to cut the whole you don't have to cut the whole fish open. Uh, and, and once a, and a fish that swallows it in its in its mouth, any distance will not will not lose it in a million years without the the, uh, the extra barb on there. All right, I'm just gonna throw it out there. Very simple here. Put my little thing on here. You can see my whole worm is completely hidden in here. So when it hits the water, it's just going to go down, 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 and away it goes. Let's see if we can get this thing to work here. 